All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is our Google Docs collaboration tutorial video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things that we're going to use uh, over the next few weeks to collaborate with the others in the class. This collaboration can happen in school and out of school uh, and pretty much from anywhere on the planet. Uh, okay, real quick, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to get to a new document or create a new document. You can see I've got several dozen documents already open in my uh, Google Docs and collaborating. You can see over here on the right I've got several different people that are collaborating with me, some that are actually collaborating right now or working right now on projects. Uh, we're going to start with a Google document. Um, for these projects we'll be using three basic documents, which is a Google document, Google presentation, and a Google drawing. Uh, in order for our collaborators to take full advantage of Google Docs, they must have a Google account, and you must know the email address associated with it. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and create a new Google document. I am going to type some basic stuff up here at the top. And I am a terrible <laughs> typer, as you can see. And... Tutorial. Alright, I'm going to take this basic stuff here, we'll go ahead and center it up, bold it, make it a little bit bigger, head down a little bit, take it back over to the side, and I'm going to write a couple of prompts here. Prompt one, prompt two, if we were collaborating in a, uh, an actual environment, um, this could be a paragraph form, this could be a research document, this could be uh, a question and answer document that we are using for group questions. For this one, we're just kind of testing our collaboration capability, so I'm just uh, essentially throwing some prompts up there so that we can get some answers from our collaborator. Uh, I think I'll do, um, let's see, state your name and your, let's see, keep everybody safe. We'll just do first name and last initial. And I don't want that bold, so I'm going to take that down smaller. Take it back to the original size. And the prompt two, we'll do... Um, have you ever used Google Docs before? I happen to know that my collaborator has not used Google Docs before. So we're going to see how well they can figure it out. Uh, and since we're working with Google Docs and you can access it from anywhere in the world, we could be technically collaborating with anywhere and anybody in the world. So I'm going to ask, how's the weather where you are? Now I'm going to show you. Okay, now I have a Google document. I'm going to go ahead and up here and title this do Google document to my to be my collaboration <laughs> collaboration test tutorial doc. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and share it now with my collaborator. And that person, I believe, is little. Google demo at gmail.com. Let's see if that works. And I'll make that make sure that person can edit. And that might be wrong.
Ah, I just remembered that I do have the wrong address in here. It's little demo buddy at gmail.com. And that person can edit. I'm going to go ahead and share that with that person. Hopefully that will work better. And shortly we should be seeing uh, some stuff from her. Looks like little demo buddy you can see right up here is viewing. And you can see right there she's already editing. And I am going to actually add my name in too. I'm going to change mine to blue so she can see who I am. I don't need it to be that big. But she can see my responses. And as you can see, we can watch her edit at the same time. Right here, I may say, well, why not? But again, I don't need that to be big, so we're going to take it down. Oh, she just gave away my secret. Stop it. This is the secret. Okay, I'm also going to say, I'm going to actually add a little comment here. I'm going to go up to insert comment over here at the side. I can say you weren't supposed to tell anyone that you were in the next room. Actually, thanks. <laughs> Alright, now as you can see up here, there is a save now option, but that does save automatically every few seconds. And those people can actually answer your comment, as you can see my little demo buddy is doing down here. Uh, Okay, let's move on to another another project. This is already saved. I can minimize this and get rid of it. We're going to actually go up here and create a new document. Today we're going to do the drawing. And I'm going to go ahead and share this with my little demo buddy again. <clears throat> now you can obviously save that person into a contact and you can even save a group of contacts which is very helpful to do when you're working with a bunch of other students you can save a group so that every time you have to share you've only got to pick uh, that group list and you're automatically sharing uh, let's say make sure that uh, my little demo buddy go check your email Duh. so that she will go over here and get on this other doc that we're going to edit. And what we're going to work on now is actually a uh, practice template. There's my buddy. She's in there now. Oh, and look, she's already done the smiley face. We're doing a practice template for booklet. And I know that I am going to use this as maybe a text area. A little bit longer. I guess if there's a booklet, we could make this a pamphlet and do three. Now, that's nice. Isn't that sweet? We can also grab pictures and bring them in real quick. Um, See if I can get the one quick here. I can bring in now. There's a picture of me, and now this article here could be all about me. Oh, and she's already texted my thing. And there is not a comment function on this one. Then we better title this document by the way test document tutorial now we wait saved under everybody's form and when you look over here to the left you you'll see all those I've got untitled drawing which now if I refresh that 
I'm actually looking at a collaboration test tutorial document and a test document tutorial that we did for the drawing. Um, she seems to be about having fun. Um, and I guess I'll actually answer this right here. And just say, you just insert and upload an image from your computer. And I'm going to do one final text box here that lets my buddy know that I am done. That's all I need from you. Thanks for the help. Alright, I'm going to save that now. And she is able to edit whenever she wants. I can go ahead and minimize or close that. And that will be all we're going to do for the tutorial today. Please feel free to play with that with your uh, fellow students. I'll get everybody on the list and we'll share a couple of test documents. You'll be able to work on those today. Next time, we'll, we will work on uh, doing a Google presentation. It's essentially a PowerPoint presentation, much like we use with our keynote presentations or the PowerPoint presentations you use on the PCs upstairs. And uh, it's not quite as fancy, but you're able to create a presentation that would definitely work for an assignment in any of our other classes. So I encourage you to use this, especially if you don't have uh, software at home. If you can get access to a computer, you can create those presentations and download them as PowerPoints in order to turn into your uh, teachers in your other classes. All right, that's all for today. I'll see you guys later.